Rated PG-13. What's up guys, it's Middle Age Gamer here and we are playing Train Sim World from Dovetail Games today. It has been forever, and I mean literally almost forever since I posted a video on YouTube, especially relating to Train Simulator in general, which is where it all started. Going back to my roots, I uh, finally got some free time off of work and the kids to do this. So hopefully you guys like it and hopefully there's many more to come. I'm a little bit bummed about one thing and I'll show you guys here in just a second. Let me click on the start. This is it guys, watch. Look at that level. That is horrible. Level two. So basically I had a bunch of computer problems. I upgraded, I fixed it, still waiting on a video card. Uh, but in the process I lost my entire profile with Train Simulator. I only had about 70, 80 hours in it, but still, that's a lot of time, a lot of levels, a lot of scenarios that I did that are all gone. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. I am happy, however, that I kept my ATS and ETS2 profiles. So I didn't lose out on that, thank God. Um, I did play, just so you know, a little bit of the Long Island Railroad. I haven't done necessarily a scenario as of yet. Uh, I did do the tutorial to figure out what I'm doing. So I'm still pretty rusty at Train Sim World in general, or Train Simulator for that matter. So please excuse how this video turns out. Um, I should be able to get on the timetable, but we'll see. I'm going to start with the easiest of the scenarios, which is Kings and Queens. And it basically states that the line to West Hempstead has been closed at Locust Manor for Engineering Works. Drive a service from Atlantic Terminal to Jamaica. Is that Jamaica, Queens? I think it's 50 Cent there. 50 Cent going to be at the... No, I'm just kidding. And then return to Atlantic Terminal. So I guess we're starting here, heading to uh, Jamaica. I'm going to call it Jamaica, Queens, which could be completely wrong. But Jamaica, and then back to Atlantic Terminal. Seems pretty easy. Um, I doubt there's any you know, issues along the line. Hopefully it's a green line or a, a clear path the entire way is what I should say. Let's go ahead and start it up, guys. Well, that's a pretty picture. So pretty. I haven't even played that route. I got a lot of stuff to catch up on. All right, here we go. Kings and Queens, the scenario. And... We got this train coming in. I'm assuming we're going to be on this train. Unless it starts us off on the longer train, which would be pretty cool, but I, I highly, highly doubt that. So there's a wall right there. It's scaring me. Yeah, I don't think it's going to give us this train. It would be pretty cool, though, given the length of it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the other platform. If I don't get there, then so be it. Okay, good. Let's see what happens. Ah! <laughs> I picked the right train, guys. The short one. I feel like I should play a sound effect. I feel like, the, I feel like I'm getting the short bus going to school right now. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the cab. Let's close this door off so we can keep all the, uh, the peasants back there out of our seat. Uh, so first and foremost, we got to get the master key on. We do got to get the reverser to forward and the brakes to max brake. Then we're going to have to get the headlights on. We just hit H on the keyboard for that to get the bright. Most importantly, we've got to charge the brakes to 90 PSI, as you can see on the gauge right beneath us. We get it to about 130 and let it go. That's fine. And load passengers. It's loading passengers right now. We don't have to unlock the doors. The view probably in here is not going to be great. Oh, nope, it's acting all crazy. Let's get back inside the cab. Anyways, very excited to be back and streaming. I got my setup completely done. Um, minus my ATS ETS2 setup, which is kind of finished, but I got to run some USB extensions for that. Uh, so load passengers. Oh, it says wait till 1228. Jesus, that's like a minute. What the hell could I possibly say to you guys in a minute? No, I'm just kidding. Um, in a new house, closer to work, I still have my downtown property. However, it's been leased out Airbnb and VRBO quite a bit. Um, but I'm in a good place. Uh, as you guys know, my kid, or my newest kid, baby, just turned one not too long ago. Uh, his name is Oliver, or Ollie as we call him, so pretty 
pretty happy with that. But it's been hard, man. Got a ton of kids. Feel like I need an actual bus to get them somewhere. <laughs> but other than that, things have been going really, really good. Work has been crazy busy. Been blowing up on the real estate side, which is good as well. But I am hoping I have more time to make videos like this. I can't promise anything. I can't promise any streams at this time. I don't want to make false promises to you guys. Oh, I got to lock the left. We're already running late. I just wasted eight seconds right there. Not a big deal. We'll make it up, right? All right, let's take the brakes off. Let's get some power going. And we can only do, it looks like five miles per hour. So I'm gonna try to get it as close to six as possible. Jesus, we've got, what, 400 yards to go at five miles an hour? Oh well, it'll be a very, very slow start. But I didn't make the scenario and it's probably pretty realistic. At least I'm assuming, I like that, assuming. And someone told me the other day, assuming is making an ass out of you and me. It's very true if you think about it, or it can be. All right, so we are headed to No Strand Avenue. It's roughly one and a half miles out. And we're going to be obviously taking our time getting there. I don't want to speed. I just have a feeling going over the 5.9 will cause me to speed. If I can get a view of the outside, I'll try. Being inside the tunnel is probably not going to be... Okay, there we go. That's not a bad view. We don't really have a whole lot else to look at other than coming out of the station, so I'll take this any day. go right, let's get back in the cab so I can see what I'm doing looks like we're a little bit ways off from the 45 mile per hour clearance we cannot get there soon enough almost said sooner enough that would not have been good Soon enough, proper English. I'm gonna call it proper American. Whatever you do, just don't repeat what I say if you're going to school or to work. Probably not the best idea. Um, I have been having, just so you guys know, and hopefully it doesn't happen. Obviously, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming it did not happen. Um, I've been having a bunch of direct X issues where it just closes out of the game randomly so I set the TDR delay if any of you guys know what that is up to 10 hoping that it fixes the problem but if any of you guys have the same type of issue let me know out there if you have any fixes or workarounds that would be great I also set some other TDR value in the registry edit and uh, the only thing it did is instead of locking up just the game it locked up my whole computer so again, I'm trying TDR delay. I bumped it up to, I think, 10 seconds or 8 or 10 seconds to try to fix the issue. But other than that, things are going good. Got a really high-end processor and new motherboard. Just got to change out the video card, as I mentioned before. So I'm working on that. Not that it's going to help train sim world per se, but I feel like I'm getting pretty good frame rate so far. All right, we should be getting clearance to 45 any second, just keeping an eye on that. I think it's when the back of the train hits that marker that we just passed by. There we go, just got clearance. Gonna bump it up to max power. Passengers should be pretty comfortable.
got nervous, cut the power off. Like I said, I haven't played. Probably going to be pretty rusty, especially with the speed limits. And we got about a half a mile before we have to reduce the speed, so I want to keep that in mind as well. Going slightly uphill. Got to get down to, what, 35 miles per hour? Let's go ahead and brake just a little bit. So we're not speeding coming up. Oh, we had a ways to go. I guess we had another 400 yards. Oh, it's down to 30 miles an hour. All right, good thing I did slow down a bit. Got people calling me off the hook. There we go. All right, about to get out of this long tunnel. Again, I haven't really played this route quite yet other than the tutorial, so curious to see what the route's actually like. And we got some rain. We'll put the light wipers on low, which should hopefully be enough. Pretty cool looking coming out of there. Of course, I want to pay attention to what the hell I'm doing, too. Getting there a little bit early, which is fine. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Let's unlock the right. And luckily, I, I pulled a little bit ahead, but as you can see, the back end should hopefully be on, and obviously the front is as well. Let me go to the back if I can get there. Yep. <clears throat> or is that the front? can't tell. I'm assuming that's the back. So the back and the front are barely on. Almost looks identical on both sides, which I guess is what you want. I don't know. Looks good to me, though. All right. So we've got to wait till 12.36. So, yeah, we're running on time. In fact, we, or in fact, we, <laughs> in fact, we're running a little bit ahead of schedule. I guess I should probably take a look at the outside. we got a chance. These people aren't going to stop bothering me, are they? Good old cell phones, right? Got roughly 10 more seconds to go. Scenery looks pretty good around, though. Let's get a little bit closer to the action. And then we'll go ahead and lock up the right-hand side. And we'll be heading out here in just a second. There we go. We'll do a quick train by on the way out of here. Let's get back in the cab. Headed to East New York. I need to get off the power like, whoa. But anyways, headed to East New York. I'd be there at 1240. And we're about roughly 2.1 miles away, about two miles away. All right, let it coast. And are we going, looks like we might be going back downhill from the looks of it. Yep, heading slightly downhill now, 1%. And 
and so far the line is clear as well which is good it's like it's flat again I'm not sure we're gonna be like over okay we're over the street it's always kind of hard to tell what you're doing unless you're on the outside and we're I see a tunnel coming up. Looks like we're going back underground, which is interesting. I haven't played a route in quite a long time that had a few tunnels. I think the last one was the London, the Faversham, that had a long tunnel on it. This one looks like we might be underground all the way to the station, but we'll see. Oh, I'm speeding like, whoa. Let me slow that down. I put the power on instead of the brake, which is completely my fault. And if I can figure out how to turn off the, there's the wiper. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off since we're underground now. There's no need for it. Let it go so we can get some more speed. I think we're on time though. We're supposed to be there in exactly a minute. We only have roughly 800 yards to go. And we're going downhill slightly. like we should be getting there just on time. Let's get the windshield wiper back on. Okay, we'll unlock the right hand side. Just a few seconds late, not too bad though. I guess I could be more aggressive on the uh, the braking and the acceleration next time around. Loading passengers up, and I think, I'm assuming the next one would be Jamaica or maybe we're two away to that station before we actually turn around. All right, lock the right hand side back up. Yep, and Jamaica is definitely the next station. Let's get back in the cab for this. Going back underground, it looks like. means we can turn off the wiper since we're underground. Actually going slightly downhill from the looks of it. It's kind of deceiving. And we will be released to go up to, it looks like 70 miles an hour in roughly, what, 700 feet or 700 yards? Just trying to pay attention. I forgot. This game actually makes you pay attention. I know you don't have to drive anywhere, but there's still quite a bit to do. And roughly 4.4 miles to go. Got a few minutes to get there. There we go. 
released up to 70 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and get there as quick as possible. Make sure we're keeping up with the time schedule if we can. Jesus, feels like we're flying. Maybe because we're inside the tunnel. Reminds me of uh, Space Mountain when I rode it at 12 years old. The lights make it seem like it's a lot faster. We do have a reduction in speed in about two and a half miles, which is fine. Definitely ticking off the miles going this rate. I do like how you can mess with different things on the train. It's pretty cool. Very, very interactive compared to the old train simulator. So I actually need, we're going slightly uphill. Let's get some power. Still a mile and a half until the reduction in speed. Two miles to go to Jamaica. Jesus, this route is literally underground for the most part. It's what it seems like so far. At least this portion of the um, of the route. Yeah, we're getting real close. I don't know. This is maybe overground up here. Not sure what's up this route, but I'm liking it so far. I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start breaking. I forgot what I said we had to get down to. That was the problem. Can't remember if it was 35, 45. Hopefully it was 35. Okay, 45, which we're under that. And we have to get down to 35 coming up, so. Overbreak just a little bit again. It's my first time on the route. Don't blame me for being horrible. Actually, do blame me, but I warned you guys at the start of the video. So get down to 35, which we're kind of already at. Pretty close, so we're probably going to get another reduction in speed. Well, I don't know. Before the next uh, station, and they go down again, we'll find out. Oh yeah, down to 15, so let's go ahead and get down to 15 quick. Alright, let it coast. We're doing 15, which is good. in the cab so I can see what I'm doing. It's supposed to be here at 47.30. It's 47.20. So we're going to be running a few seconds behind. Not bad though from our first go around. A 
unlock the right. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save it just in case. Like I said, I've been having crashing issues. I'm gonna try to keep this one seamless video, but if you uh, if you see a little break in the video right after that, then you know the game probably crashed. We'll find out what happens though. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the windshield wiper off. I'm assuming we're gonna switch sides here in just a second. And brake's gonna have to go to emergency as well. Let me go ahead and do that. Reverser would be key out. Headlights need to go off. And then master key off as well. There we go. Now we gotta head to the other train. Oh, it's blind. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that on there. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Head to the other side of the train. What up, what up? What's up, what's up guys? What's up, what's up? Watch out. Watch out. Park Warren. Can't jump. You can't jump in this game, can you? It's kind of sad. All right. Back on the other side of the train after that long sprint. I'm definitely winded. I guess we got to go ahead and set up everything else. So let's do the master key on, reverser forward, headlights to bright. And then I gotta take the brakes down to max brake. There we go. What is it saying? So want those off? Hmm, okay. Oh, marker lights for the back. Go ahead and charge the brakes again. Although you think the brakes would be charged. I guess when you take the master key out, maybe they're not. Ooh, thought the game crashed right there. <laughs> About to get nervous, man. I'm like, no, not again. I don't think it has anything to do with the game, though. I think it has to do with Windows and the graphics driver. Okay, so we're going to lock the left-hand side. And we are set to go back, is what it looks like. Go and get the brakes down a little bit. All right, perfect. Let's head back to East New York. And I'll get the wiper going again since we're outside. It's not a good view, is it? Sorry for the uh, insane views, guys. I'm trying. First time back at this, though. Coming out of Jamaica, Queens here. Should be called Jamaica, I guess. I'm not even sure if this is actually technically by Jamaica, Queens. I'm assuming it is. I've just never been on this railroad. All right, let's go ahead and speed up. We got clearance to, it looks like 35 miles per hour. And then 45 right here on top of that. Lots of AI traffic, which is nice. Clearance to 45. And I'm assuming we'll get clearance back to 70 here in a second, too. back underground and should get the clearance to 70 miles an hour here in a second there you go clearance to 70 miles an hour let's go ahead and do max power and I'm going to turn off the wiper again since we're back underground Sixty-eight, 
Keep it right at 69. Reminds me of the Howard Stern show right there. Might be bumped up to 70 here in a second since we're going slightly downhill. Anyways, 3.6 miles to go. Um, let's go ahead and coast. Actually, minimal break. Got to get there by 12.57.30. And we got a reduction in speed in 2.2 miles. Looks like we have about the right amount of time. Kind of bummed out we can't do 70 the whole way, but I'll take it. Just want to see what it sounds like with the window down. whole lot of extra noise. Jesus, a massive tunnel though. Kind of curious what the rest of the route looks like. Point seven miles to go for the reduction in speed. Just want to keep an eye out on that. God, there's so many different things to watch out for. Go ahead and start braking though. We've got about 500 yards to go. wasn't in the red at least is slightly in the yellow that's fine though I'll take that I'm okay with that and we're going back uphill so I guess the tunnel basically kind of goes down and then back up on both sides from what it looks like it's an engineering marvel guys I'm assuming Anyways, 0 0.8 miles to go. Things seem to be working out okay. Heading back over to here. And we got roughly a minute, 15 seconds to get there. I think we're making good time this time around. Fact, we might be there a little bit early. Get the wiper back on just for a second. We pretty much take our time coming in here. I mean, we're way early, which is good. We kind of just cruise in here. go let's go ahead and unlock the right hand side I'll try to get outside if I can there we go we call that the uh, the good enough view right there because it's good enough again super bummed completely bummed out about my level in this game lost all my progress I had done a ton on that initial route that came out and every single scenario plus all the timetables are completely gone. Oh well. 
you know, about, what, 10 seconds early at the most. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Anyways, if you guys want to see a certain scenario after this, please, please let me know whether it's on this route or another route. Whoever has the most votes in the comments below, I will go ahead and do that scenario or even a timetable if that's what you guys really want. Let's go ahead and head back out. And make sure to always say cheers below. If you got to this point, put cheers. Tell me the route you want to see, please. It's up to you guys to pick the next scenario that I do for better and worse. Wouldn't even mind doing the old train simulator, although I'm missing a lot of DLC on that. Let's get the windshield wiper back off, out of my way. I'm get it back up to 45 here. I see something, okay, that's 2.1 miles off, so we're good. It's a reduction, it looks like down to 30 from what I can see. Going slightly uphill as we make our way back to Nostrand Avenue, which is, I think, the station before Atlantic where we'll be terminating the service today. Wish I had my microphone I'd be yelling into it right now, pretending I'm the, uh, the conductor on here or the engineer. I'm heading back out to the beautiful outside. I don't know, would it be depressing to be like on a subway managing that train all day, like underground? It feels like it'd be depressing. Like you need some natural light, even though it's nice and overcast and rainy today. I feel like you would want some natural light on your route. All right, here we go. Get you guys on the outside for a second. So pretty. It is so pretty. Got roughly two and a half minutes to get a mile down the road. I'm assuming the 45 should definitely get us there. But you remember what I said about assumptions. Kind of a nice looking train, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's bad looking. Very industrial style. I think it looks good though. I wouldn't mind driving one of these in real life. Is that a baseball field? Interesting. Alright, I think we gotta get under 30 coming up here. Let me see. Pretty sure it was 30. I still got a ways to go though. I can't read it. Yeah, it's 30. That's where we're stopping, anyways, though. And we're way early again on this, which is good. We'd rather be early than late. There we go. Unlock the right hand doors. That's actually a, to me, that's a perfect stop. I mean, look at that. That's insane. Let's just take a closer look. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to do that again. Tell me that's not a perfect stop. I look like I'm at one with the gate. It almost looks like it's touching right there. Anyways, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Someone has to be. <laughs> It's just me and my mom. All right, so we gotta wait till 13, 3.30. Wow, definitely, that was a lot, quick, a lot quicker than what I thought. Let's see where we're at on the map. 
very very close to where we're terminating the service a lot of route left I'm kind of curious to see if you get to do up here I'm assuming you get to go all the way to the end as well got people walking on the crosswalk no one's ghost walking which is nice One's getting hit by cars, which is awesome. Oh, they're actually coming all the way up here. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and lock the right-hand side doors, and we'll be heading out of here to our final terminal slash station here in a second. There we go. Going back to Atlantic Terminal. Here we go. Looks like I can get up to 30 coming up. Going 2.5% decline, which is quite a bit. Got to put the speed in check, is what I got to do. Go ahead and turn the wiper off since we're back underground. And I guess we're getting clearance up to 45 for a second. Then we'll be back down to 5 miles per hour coming up. There we go. So 0.8 of a mile until we have to get down to 5 miles per hour. And it's a long stretch in between there and the end. Just like we have the slow start coming out. Alright. We're up to 45. Let's go ahead and start braking. Hopefully this doesn't make me late. I've got quite a few minutes, four minutes to get there, but So slow. I feel like I should have gone as fast as possible and just slammed the brakes on. go coasting at 5.9 hoping to keep it right there if we can and about 500 somewhat yards to go so slow I was like, please make this 10 miles per hour. That would have been nice. I feel like my ADHD is kicking in. Let's see if I can get... Okay, let's try this way. Let's try to get a, another exterior view here in the tunnel if we can. Can we do it? There we go. It's not a bad view. I'll take that. I don't know why it's flashing 15. 
Makes me nervous. Like, did I do something wrong? It's not the dead man's pedal, which is nice. I get it. You don't want me going over 15 miles per hour. Totally get that. It's just me. I don't really hear any sound from the game, but we may be going too slow to, to hear anything. Oh, that didn't work. Very hard to get a good interior view inside the station. Anyways, we're almost there either way. 13.10, we got a full minute to get there. I don't know if we're going to get there in a minute. Going this slow, but I'm definitely trying. It's going to be close. I'll try to keep it at 5.9 for as long as possible. Got a little bit of yellow going on there, which I guess is okay, all right? I think someone told me you can go up to two miles per hour over and be just fine. It's only when you get that little red marker is when you're speeding. Don't know if that's the case or not. Yeah, we're going to be about 15, 20 seconds behind from what I can see. Because it wants me to stop literally right now. I feel like I should have been, if I would have sped at least a mile hour over, a mile per hour over, we would have been fine. The final the time. But I really hate doing that. That's scary too. Once we get all the way to the very end. I feel like it's doing that on purpose. Just to trick me so I crash into the wall. Yeah, about 30 seconds behind total. That's fine. Let's go ahead and stop here. And let's go ahead and unlock the left hand side. Not the best of views by any means. There we go. Ooh, I tried to take a screenshot, I just went all went all haywire. Well done for completing this duty. Secure the train and head over to the main concourse. Uh, I feel like I should save that just in case because I, I don't want to get screwed over here. So, is it going to help me do this or does it want me to do it on my own? Okay, no, it's going to help me out, I guess. So, first and foremost, let's get the brakes all the way up to emergency. Let's get the reverser with the key out, turn the master key off, and mark our lights back to on for the back, and then we can just simply head out open the door not the blind two or three I guess I got a I must have picked up a map right there I didn't even see it here we go objective completed I feel like that's victorious I got all green check marks I haven't played this game in absolutely forever so I'm glad you guys hung in there with me again say cheers below if you made it to anywhere where I said cheers let me know what route which scenario you want to see next. Um, looks like I made some good progress there. 46 minutes, 42 seconds, 18.53 miles, and I walked um, just over 400 yards there. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, and so I guess the, the due time, as long as you're within the same minute, you're good, and I, I hit all the due times, which is good interesting anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching the middle age gamer please please subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button the bell thing whatever the hell you want to do but more importantly comment below so i can comment back at some point in the near future um and i'll see you guys on the next video cheers Don't you know